Liquid hot magma is spewing all over my magma enhanced geothermal energy device. Excellent. Hey Dnewsers, Trace here. Thanks for watching. Iceland, guys. Iceland is awesome. If anyone has an extra ticket, please let me know because I'd love to visit. Iceland is known for volcanic activity, hot springs, and a raw landscape. They are also a huge proponent of geothermal energy. Currently, around 25% of the country's energy comes from the heat of our own planet. Traditionally, geothermal energy is harvested from the ground beneath our feet. The Union of Concerned Scientists says that the heat energy stored beneath Earth's surface contains 50,000 times more energy Energy than all the oil and natural gas resources in the world. Geothermal power works similarly to other power plants we've discussed. Using the heat from the earth, hot water is converted to steam, which operates turbines. You can also use the heat directly in a single home by running a loop of water pipe deep into the planet and then back again. But now, Iceland has come up with a new and far more sinister sounding geothermal plant, a magma enhanced geothermal system. It's the first of its kind. The journal Geothermal detailed the plant in this month's issue. The Icelandic Deep Drilling Project, or IDDP, unexpectedly broke into magma 2100 meters below the surface back in 2009. This is really rare, you guys. It's only happened one other time, and that was in Hawaii in 07. Rather than abandon the well, they decided to pursue this opportunity to create superheated geothermal power. Using a steel casing, the IDDP were able to operate at temperatures over 450 Celsius. This is the first time humans have been able to tap into and control magma to create energy. Though this was more of a science experiment, it's a proof of concept for other magma-enhanced projects in the future. Geothermal is still relatively tiny in the grand scheme of energy usage. Growing up in Michigan, I always thought it was kind of cool because, you know, it's freaking cold. According to the Geothermal Energy Association, nearly 700 geothermal power projects are happening in 70 countries around the world, and new geothermal power has come online in Oregon, Nevada, and Utah last year, but not in Michigan, so. Oh well. Would you want some awesome geothermal in your hood? Maybe in your house? Type out your favorite form of renewable energy down there, kind of by my knees, and subscribe for more D News Love. See you later.